Did you know that the tool I'm using to create voiceovers for this channel is actually a free AI tool? In fact, I've spent the past two months testing hundreds of free AI tools, and in this video, you're going to see the best ones that are worth using for content creation and productivity. You're probably aware that DALI 3 is out, which is the art generator from OpenAI that can finally create images with accurate text. However, to be able to use it, you need to subscribe to ChatGPT, which costs $20 per month. Luckily for you, there's an AI tool that will grant you access to the same model for free, which is the first tool in this video called Bing Image Creator. To try it out, simply enter your prompt in the box above and click on Create. In my demo here, I asked it to draw a pizza slice with trees and mountains in the background and the words hiking for pizza written around it, and it generated these four images. It wrote the texts correctly for the left two designs, but didn't get it right for the others. This is, however, a big improvement from DALI 2, which can't handle designs like this, and you can choose any of them to customize or download. I see a lucrative money opportunity here as you can upload these designs to t-shirts, sweaters, and hoodies, and sell it on print-on-demand sites like TeePublic or Redbubble. And you can even sell it on Etsy. I know this because I also sell merch on these platforms, and I wish I had tools like this earlier to pump out designs much faster. The best part is that Bing is completely free, and I found other free tools that do similar things like these ones showing on your screen right now. So you can take a screenshot and let's move on. Tool number two is PoAI. If you are like me that uses different AI chat apps, then this tool can make your life easier. You can use AI models like GPT-4, Claude, Stable Diffusion, Llama, and many others from a single dashboard. You can try and test all and see which one works best for the task you have in hand. For instance, I've opened four language models here and I'll give them the same prompt. I have ChatGPT and Llama on the left, and on the right I have Claude and Google Palm. I ask them to write a video script on the same topic, and usually what you'll find is that some models are better at coding, while others are better at writing. So if you look at their responses, you'll notice that ChatGPT tends to add the host and include words in brackets, while Claude tends to write a bit faster and its output read less robotic. Llama, on the other hand, added a disclaimer at the intro, and the output is similar to ChatGPT without the host. But the worst of all is Google Palm which wrote an article instead of a video script I requested. These are other chat apps you can try, each of which has their unique strengths and weaknesses. Tool number three is Microsoft Designer. This is a design app that can create graphics from prompts. You can add a simple prompt like this for a promotional design, and it will create designs that you can use for Instagram and other social media. To make it more relevant, you can add your photos to it and use the prompt suggestion it offers you if it's relevant to your work. With this, it will generate more related designs like these ones, some of which are animated. You can then click on anyone you like and customize it further. It's completely free to use, and you can also try Canva or one of these other tools to create designs for your business. Tool number four is Leiapix. This one has been trending for a while now, and what it does is to animate your images by adding depth to it. It converts your photos to 3D and you can see some of the samples on their homepage. To try it out, you simply need to upload your picture and it will automatically render it to 3D. This can be useful to grab more attention on social media compared to boring static photos. You can also play around with some settings on the right, change the animation length, focus point, and so on. It's a fun tool to play with and I also find other animation tools for you that do different things you can try out. Tool number five is remove.bg. This is a free background removal tool that can come in handy if you need to remove or change your picture background. It does this automatically and works better than many other ones I tested. The free credit is limited though, so you may want to pair it with this one called Erase BG, which does a similar job, and it's also accurate. Or you can use any of these background removal tools I found as well. Tool number six is Cutout Pro. This one can remove the background of your videos with one click. You don't need to have a green screen to do this, all you need is to upload the video and watch it do its job. Similar to the previous tool, the free credits are also limited, so you may pair it with this one called Unscreen, which does the same job, or use any of these other ones that are free as well. Tool number seven is CapCut. This one needs no introduction as it's popular among content creators and video editors. What I like about it is the amazing AI tools you get on it for free. There's an AI color correction for your videos. You can remove video background with one click, you can also upscale your photos and videos among many other features. It also has AI voiceover, which you can use for free, and it's available on mobile, desktop, and as an online tool. 
However, it's not available in countries where TikTok is banned, so you may use any of these other AI video editing tools instead. Some are only available on mobile, while others are cross-platforms. Tool number eight is watermarkremoval.io. As its name implies, this is a tool that can remove watermarks from pictures. To show you how it works, I upload a picture with my logos as watermark on it, and it removes them automatically. The result is pretty impressive as it removed the watermark as if it never existed in the picture. The free credit is limited though, so you may try any of these other ones I found that can do the same job for you. Tool number 9 is Annie Eraser by Media.io. This one can remove watermarks on photos as well as videos. To try it out, I uploaded this video of a bird with my watermark on it. You can increase the brush size on the right and brush over the watermark in order to remove it. It takes a few seconds to process and the result is quite good. It could be better though, but if you need to use a public domain video with watermark on it, this can be useful. You can also try these three tools to do the same thing for you. Tool number 10 is Namey.ai. This is a domain name generator that uses AI to find relevant names for your brand. You simply need to describe what your business is all about, and it will go ahead to generate relevant domain names for you in seconds. Wherever you see the Get It tag, it means the domain is available for sale and you can click to get it from sites like Namecheap or GoDaddy. A similar tool you can use for free is Namelix, and this one asks you for keywords, then walks you through a series of questions to generate brand names for you. You can also try these other ones and see the one that works best for you. Tool number 11 is Logo.com. After you get a good name for your business, the next thing that comes to mind is to create a logo, and this tool does that for free. You simply need to enter your business name, answer a few questions, choose your logo preferences, and it will generate a logo for you in seconds. Then you can choose the one you like, customize it, and download it for free. You need to go to your logo files to download it, and you'll also get the transparent versions which will be useful to place on your website. Other tools you can try are these, but note that some of them restrict your access to download while they all offer more features than logo designing. Tool number 12 is Framer AI. This tool is an amazing AI website builder I recently came across. You simply need to enter a description of the website you need in this box and click on Start with AI. It requires your login details as expected and it literally takes seconds to generate the website. I'm quite impressed with the result and this shows what AI is capable of doing as we move forward. It added a portfolio, some testimonials, and a pricing table, among other things. If you zoom out of the canvas, you'll see a tablet and mobile version. You can edit it as you wish, and it's free to use until you're ready to add a custom domain and take your site to the next level. I have four other AI tools that can build websites for you, including Hukos and 10Web. And they all have their benefits and limitations, so you may want to try them and see which one works best for you. Tool number 13 is Flicky. This is an AI video generator you can use to create amazing videos for YouTube and other social media fast. You can open a project, go to the magic create at the top, and select the first option. You simply need to enter a topic and click submit. And the AI will go ahead to create the video script with relevant footage and add a voiceover on top. You can then edit it and choose from a wide range of voiceovers, and the result is amazing. Breaking the myths, real ways to earn online. The internet isn't just for entertainment. It's a gold mine of opportunities to earn money. Tap into your potential today. Freelancing, the first approach. Skills from writing to coding can be marketed to a global audience. Turn your talent into income. E-commerce is another way. Sell products directly or utilize drop shipping. Turn your salesmanship skills into lucrative deals online. Flicky is free to use every month, and I've created a full tutorial on it, which you can click to watch at the top. InVideo and Pictory are other great AI tools that can do this for you, and you can also use any of these ones here, some of which I've shown how they work on this channel. Tool number 14 is Eleven Labs. This is a free AI tool that produces natural sounding and realistic voiceovers. It is the tool I'm using for the voice you are listening to, and you've probably listened to some of its voices on social media without realizing. One of its popular voices is Adam, which talks like this. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's always in demand, productivity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to make the most out of your time, these tips will help you become more productive. Let's jump right in. You can sign up to Eleven Labs using the first link in the description below, and if you click on the drop-down on your dashboard, you'll find a lot of voices you can use. 
On your new account, though, you won't see all of these voices because they are unique voices I generated to use on my other projects. And if you want to do the same, there are two ways to get these voices. You can either go to the voice library at the top and you'll see a lot of voices shared by Eleven Labs users. Let us always meet each other with smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. We should all be thankful for those people who rekindle the inner spirit. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. You'll notice that the third voice sounds even more realistic, and that's because it's a real human voice that was cloned and shared by real people. They are tagged as professional, and you can recognize them with the check mark beside their names. You can also filter to show them at the top, and you just need to click on the plus icon to add them to your own voice library. Then if you go back to your dashboard, you'll find it, and you can use it for your projects. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's always in demand. Productivity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to make the most out of your time, these tips will help you become more productive. Let's jump right in. If I select the voice I use for this channel, you can hear how it also sounds for this intro. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's always in demand, productivity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to make the most out of your time, these tips will help you become more productive. Let's jump right in. The way I created this voice, which you can also do for free, is to go to Voice Lab at the top and click on the plus icon. You can choose professional voice cloning if you want to clone your voice like the one I showed you with a check mark and follow the instructions. Or you can click on voice design to generate a unique voice from the AI. First we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters, and we thought it was a typewriter. You may need to set the gender you want, the age and the accent, and you can paste the text you would like to try the voice on. Hello everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's always in demand at productivity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to make the most out of your time, what you can also do is to play around with the accent strength and it will give you a different voice. Hello everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's always in demand productivity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to make the most out of your time, one thing to note is that it will give you a different voice if you regenerate again, even with the same parameters. So make sure to save the ones you like before regenerating. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's always in demand productivity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to make the most out of your time, these tips will help you become more productive. Let's jump right in. So that's how I created all of these voices, including the one you're listening to. Eleven Labs is free to use and you can create up to three custom voices to use for your project. I'm on the creator plan on this account and if you also need more characters or access to the voice cloning features, then you can upgrade and get up to 80% off your first subscription. So click on the first link in the description below to sign up. Eleven Labs works for me for my tutorial style videos, but you can try any of these other tools that do similar things and check the ones that may work better for you. Tool number 15 is Semantic Scholar. This is a free search engine that can find research papers in all fields of science. It's AI powered and it's better than Google for this use case, which makes it a great tool to have as a student or researcher. Another search engine you can try is Gigabrain. This one will return your search from Reddit conversations and it'll be handy to get first-hand experience on some topics. You can use these other AI search engines, all of which do different things that will be useful for your productivity. Tool number 16 is Copy AI. This is an AI writer that is connected to the internet. You can ask it to write a full blog post or summarize the latest news on a certain topic and it will do a great job for you with the references. It also has workflows, which you can use to create specific content without memorizing different prompts. You may also try Writer, or any of these other ones that give you free credits every month. Tool number 17 is Copy Leaks. This is an AI content detector to check if a text is AI generated. It can be useful for teachers and bloggers and you only need to paste the text in the box and click on check. It will tell you if the text is AI written or written by a human. Be aware of false positives though, as these detectors can be wrong sometimes, so you may try any of these other ones to see the ones that work best for you. For watching till now, I'll give you access to my database, which has over 400 AI tools for productivity, business, and content creation. Check the link in the description for this. A bonus tool I'll like to share with you today is called TinyWow. This is an all-in-one AI tool that is completely free and doesn't require you to sign up. 
It includes many AI tools from image generators to AI writers. And it also has small tools like video downloaders and file conversions, which makes it a simple tool to add to your workflow. To see the best niche ideas for a faceless YouTube channel in 2024, click on this video. And if you learn one or two things from this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below and thank you for watching.